Dear brothers and sisters, oftentimes when we talk about what leads a person down this path of following their desires and leads them to a path of sin and leads them to a place of violating the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leads them to a place of forgetting their purpose. We often address the footsteps of shaitan, the footsteps of the devil and the whispers of the devil from a place of a shahwa, from the place of desire. But subhanAllah, one thing that's very interesting when you read about the tactics of the shaitan, of the devil within the Qur'an and how the Prophet spoke about them, is that it's often that the shaitan enters into a person's soul from a place of fear, from a place of insecurity, from the place where that person feels most vulnerable and then takes that and exploits it into a desire to be desirable a desire to be wealthy, a desire to be secured, a desire to have the places and the access that they felt like they were unworthy of should they not compromise on the very principles and purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them. What I mean by that is that the shaitan enters from a place of fear. And it's very interesting because if you look at the way that marketing works, many times it's to exploit an insecurity, create an insecurity and then exploit an insecurity. People have body image issues. And so there are all types of products that are marketed towards the insecurity of body image. People have uh, issues with social acceptance. And so there are all sorts of products and things that are marketed towards social validation. All of these different things are marketed to feast on and exploit an insecurity. And subhanAllah, I want us to actually look through in these few minutes, inshaAllah ta'ala, some of the verses of the Quran and some of the ahadith of the Prophet in this regard, and then think about how this works. The Prophet ﷺ says, and this is a hadith from a companion by the name of Sabra ibn Abi Faqih radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And subhanAllah, I believe it's the only hadith that he narrates, if not one of the only hadith that he narrates. And what a hadith to narrate from the Prophet ﷺ. He said, I heard the Prophet ﷺ say, Inna shaytana qa'da li ibn Adam bi atruqihi that verily the shaytan has sat on every single path. He tries to obstruct every path that the son of Adam, that the child of Adam wishes to take. فَقَعْدَ لَهُ بِطَرِيقِ الْإِسْلَامِ So he first tries to obstruct his path to Islam. How many people sat in Mecca and believed that the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was indeed the Prophet of Allah, but they thought about the consequences of embracing that message Hence, they never embraced that message and they sat back in Mecca and they waited to see what would happen. Many of them probably passing away before they had the opportunity to embrace Islam. This is a highly consequential choice. This is a very difficult choice that you have to make. So think about a person in Mecca and the Prophet comes and the shaitan gets in the way. Notice the shaitan does not try here to talk about the message of the Prophet Sallallahu because that battle is already won. Intellectually, you already know this is the truth. That's the point. You've already been convinced that this is the truth, but instead tries to exploit an insecurity. فَقَالَ تُسْلِمُ وَتَذَرُ دِينَكَ وَدِينَ آبَائِكَ وَآبَائِ عَبِيكَ Are you going to become Muslim and abandon the religion of your parents and, the, and abandon the religion of your forefathers? and their fathers. Meaning, are you going to put behind your legacy? And in a deeply tribalistic society, you're giving up on everything that used to give you value. What used to give you value in that society was, who is your father? What is your tribe? Are you going to turn your back on all of that? The emotional manipulation. And we know that it was used against the companions. That a parent would say, that I will starve myself until you relinquish this faith. And so the shaitan obstructs the path by preying on that, exploiting that, not even trying to mess with who the Prophet ﷺ is anymore or what the message is. 